So welcome to my 1972 Mini Clubman Estate. Some of you may have seen this car at a few shows and events already. It's done a fair bit really this year considering its history. So you can see behind me that it is basically an original Clubman. Now a lot of you are looking at it going, oh it looks rough that. Yeah, it looks tatty. But this car has never been restored. It's got a bit of a history, some good, some bad, but the car, bar minor panels, so it's had a seal on one side and it's had an A panel on another, it's had no panels in its life. This car is an unrestored Mini in my eyes, but it's had the necessary work to get it back on the road. Right, so history. It's a 1972 Mini Clubman, like I mentioned. This car was laid dormant in, a, in an old lady's garden for about 13 to 14 years. This was about three years back when a good mate of mine rescued the car and put it back on the road. Now, during the time it was sat in that little garden behind a little picket fence, um, hopefully, and by, telling, by looking at the underside, it's been on a hard standing because it's really good on the underside. While it was sat in that garden, you'll notice the paint on the bonnet. Now we'll walk around the car properly in a minute, but that paint on the bonnet is vandalism. Uh, kids threw paint across it, it was sat behind this fence, and yeah, the poor little thing just got abuse over the years. Now, the people that owned the car before, obviously I don't know if they stopped driving or got another car or whatnot, but it sat there for 13, 14 years that we believe, that's how long it sat. Looking at the MOT records, that's how long it sat. Now, when it was recommissioned to put back on the road, all the brakes were gone over, the car was got up and running, everything was necessarily replaced was replaced. Um, the A panel was done at that point because the driver's door wouldn't hang on, so it had a door post repair and an A panel put on, and it's had a seal on one side. Now, the underside of this car, personally I've seen this on the ramp, this is my personal car, it gets looked after. The underside of this car is surprisingly and madly solid. It's a really good car, so appearances from the top, don't let it betray away from it. It's mainly because the car's white that it shows everything, but look at that car. Personally, I love this car. If any of you have seen my mini sidewalk, you know that's a tidy looking car. It's had a pretty much, not, not a nut and bolt restoration, but over my, my ownership, it's been a part. That has never been a part, and let me tell you, that drives better. A mini that's not been a part drives so well. So, Without further ado, let's have a walk around this car and I'll show you um, bits and pieces on it, points that I've done to it, things that I want to do to it. But let's have a little tour of this Clubman because I believe this is something different and I don't think there is many unrestored Mini Clubmans or Minis out there. Right, so let's start at the front of the car. The paint on the bonnet, like I mentioned, it was sat in front of a fence. Kids vandalised it, threw the paint across it, and it is general household paint. Now, some of it's chipped away over the years, but it's, it's protrudes quite high off the bonnet. A lot of people said to remove it. It's gone up the windscreen wiper, and obviously over that way. But for me, this is part of the car's history. It's part of the car's look. And it's part of the reason why when I saw this car, my, my friend that owned it, I said, if you ever sell it, I want the chance of owning it. It's had a little bash in the front there, very light, off your little minor car parking dink. It's the, being an early clubman, it's got the wood trim down the side. Now all this wood trim, I'll drop a picture in before. Was missing. Uh, the old lady or the old couple that we believe before had a go at doing the front halves, so the wings, and they'd done it in like a vinyl and it was all peeling off. So but the rest of it, the original veneer had come off it because this is a metal base with like a veneer over the top of it from the factory. So a big shout out to my other half. She has recreated this and this actually feels like wood. 
So if any of you are interested, I zoom in there. If any of you are interested in how we did that, please post in the comments below because I know other classic cars have this look, but for me, the early Mini Clubman of this look was the reason why I always wanted an early Mini Clubman. Right, so walking around the car, it retains its original number plates, its original style grille, but the grille that was on it before had had the badge missing, so I've, re I've put the badge back on because I had one lying about. The only thing I've changed aesthetically to the outside of the car, bar the wood trim, is I've put some Cooper S reverse steel wheels on it. Now, I feel this gives the car a nice little period look. My recent addition I bought in at the IMM is the proper Clubman hubcaps. So for me, I think that gives the car a lovely look. It's a slightly wider version of the original wheel, basically. So it doesn't take any, detract anything away from the original car. Going around the side, you've got your original Leyland badge, still retained. Obviously the wood trim is all being redone. Now the reason some of you might be wondering why the, the roof is, is brown, but well, we believe that the previous owner tried to make it contrast the wood a little bit on the side. So it's almost brush strokes on. This is a, what we think a brown hammerite rust paint. It's like um, a primer basically, but I've actually machine polished the roof because I love the patina look of cars. I love American cars and I love the patina look of it. So I've actually machine polished the whole car. You can see down the side, this is original paint. So the original paint really shines out nice. Right. So you join me now at the back of the car. Same story around the back. We've redone the wood. Uh, we've It had two trims missing off the end. So you've got the little end caps here. Um, the Clubman Estate Register Forum, Facebook page, and I think they have a website, are very, very helpful, especially with these early cars at sourcing parts. So a massive thanks to Liz White for running that page and her other half Andy. Um, through that page, I managed to track down these, these ends that I was missing. Um, they are very hard to find. There's people out there that have got them all stored away and I can't knock you for it. I've managed to get a bit of a collection myself now. But when you're looking at these early Clubmans, make sure all these trims are installed. The only bad side to this car is these back doors. They are quite poorly. They are quite rusty. Um, they're absolutely fine, they still function in the right way, but for me, I'm gonna try and find another set of white doors, because I don't wanna restore this car. I wanna celebrate and love the fact that it's never been restored. But if I can find a nicer, better set of white doors, they'll be going straight on. If not, I might ever go at color matching, but I really don't wanna to have to go that route. So if I was to say there was a the worst part of the car, it's the back doors of this poor old Clubman. So I'll flip you around now and let's go and have a proper look at it. Right, so you join me now at the back of the car. So you can really see the contrast between the brown roof that's been created by the previous owner and the brown wood trim that's been redone by us. It looks spot on. If anything, if this car ever got restored, it would actually get put back like this because I really like the contrast. So again, original number plates. Now bear in mind this car's getting on for 48 years old. You have to respect the fact that the car is gonna be a bit tatty, but nothing has been taken off this car that wasn't originally there. So again, you can see the steel wheels with the Clubman hubcaps. It's got the original Clubman Estate rear bumpers. Now, a lot of people confuse these, but they're a square or bigger bumper. So they're not minivan bumpers, they're a square or bigger bumper. So you can see down on this side, now it's had a door skin repair at some point here. We don't know when this was done. We don't know who has done it, but you can see there that it's been redone by someone and from the inside it's 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 been done as, as i'd call it a back in the day job no i'm not going to paint it that sticker gets a few giggles it shows so looking down the side of the car you can see being white it shows everything we believe it's had a bit of a door skin repair here like a lower bit put in at some point in its life but that was definitely early on in its life so you can see the a panel here that's been put on and we've sort of left it because we feel it sort of fits in with the look of the car. I do have the piece of trim that came off the original A panel and I am toying with the idea of painting this white, distressing it slightly, putting the trim back in because I own this car 
and I picked an early clubman because of the wood trim. I love the wood trim on it. A lot of people take it off because they don't like the look of it. So you can also see there, look at the shine the actual original paint has. Now what that is being is cutting compound and polished. Right, so let's have a look at the inside. And it's a similar story on the inside, very original, untouched. But it's had a few period additions added on into it. So let's go on and have a look. Right, so going on from the inside, it's got a navy blue interior. I mean, these seats don't look it anymore, but they are a navy blue. So it's got a navy blue interior. I've recently done some floor work to this car. Basically, any surface corrosion, I sorted it out, painted it, and put some more sound deadening down, and I've fitted it with a, a cheapish, but a nice, nice new carpet. Um, we wanted it to be a nice place to be, or the best place to be while driving it. So we thought it was a nice, fair thing to do. Again, you can see the blue there. Right, so looking at the dash, some of you may have noticed this. Now, we've not got it up and running yet. We can't seem to trace the wires back to it, but that is an original or a period accessory. So it's a map reading light. How neat is that little light? We absolutely love it. It's one of the first things we saw, and it just sits in its little house in there. So the previous owner has added, I believe it's called a rookie dash. It's a 70s period modification. And with the extra gauges, it looks absolutely ace in here. I'm sure you'll agree. Other than the carpet, I've added a wooden gear knob to contrast with that. And you'll see in the center of it, if the light doesn't shine on it, it's got a mini Clubman logo. So I thought that looked really good in there. It's got the original Clubman steering wheel with the original Clubman logo in it. And again, you can see the wood trim on the dash with some gauges down this side as well. Uh, you've got all your extra bits and pieces that the previous owners added on. I like the fact it's got an oil pressure gauge for an old car. I do like that. So unfortunately, the seats haven't survived or fared very well. So they are a bit torn and a bit ripped. So we're hoping to get another set of those and we'll update you when we get them in. But obviously being an earlier, earlier Mini, these seats are quite hard to find and I really don't want a new set because the car's not new and it would be a bit of a waste to put a new set in there. So we're flipping around now and let's have a look at the back area because I feel the Club and Estate is a very practical little Mini. Right, so in the back, you're obviously joined with our navy blue interior again. Now these back seats, they don't even look satin. I mean, look at that. Got the proper dome in the seat still. These ridges are all still there. It's really nice. Unfortunately, the poor little door card's got a bit damp over time and it's been a bit torn, but you know, it's, it is what it is. It's part of its character. Obviously, any mini owner carries spare oil and in a rubber door bin, we carry water. So I like the blue interior, I think it's great. The previous owners added an extra little rear light in the back there, which I think's ace. We started collecting stickers throughout the show, so shout out to Juice Mini there for that sticker. So let's look in the boot as, after all, these are estates. Right, so in the back, again, it's really, really nice in here. All that's just grubby dirt, that's all original paint. Under there, you've got your spare wheel. And it's quite simple in here. We've got our little box that we keep bits and bobs in. And yeah, I absolutely love this thing. Very, very practical Mini. Now these seats have got pins each side here. They fold completely flat, so you've got a full estate car. What, what more can you want? You've got your Mini and you've got practicality. Right, so in the engine bay, there's no frills here at all very much original above one thing obviously this weather shield which is solely there because we use the car a lot but there's one thing that's been changed for use and ease we've added the alternator and got rid of the dynamo now yes it's not original i have the original stuff but we're having a lot of problems with this car when we bought it with charging issues so the volt regulator now is redundant but i've left it in place we've added this weather shield which was on has been in all of my uh, earlier minis with the weather shield facility but 
yeah, it's a bit of a bit of fun, a bit of checkered. But this is an early Mini Clubman, so it's a 998, not an 1100. It's a 998 car, so it's covered just over 80,000. And judging by the car and the state the car survived, this is definitely an original mileage car. Done a bit of work to the cooling system, and the head has actually been fully rebuilt. Now, when we got the car, it was running on about two cylinders, so it wasn't very good at all. So we basically got rid of all that. Right, so the head's been completely redone. Uh, it's been converted to unleaded, and it's been running fine ever since. So there's not too much going on in here, other than, like I say, we've done the alternator conversion, and it's got an electronic ignition setup. Basically, it's because we use it, and we want it to be reliable. Thank you for watching this video. I wanted to give you a, a brief tour of our Mini Clubman. If you see it at any shows, come say hi, ask about it because we love showing it. It's something a little bit different. Definitely attracts attention and everyone that's seen it absolutely adores it because they can respect that these Minis do get left. But for me, I absolutely adore the patina look of this car. It's one of my favorite Minis I've ever owned. Probably at the moment, my favorite because I absolutely love how this car looks. Just parked up, it looks absolutely awesome. So. If you haven't already, please check out our channel. Uh, we've got an 89 Classic Mini restoration on the go. We've got a Mini Clubman restoration on the go, our budget Mini Clubman. We've got walk-arounds of all our other cars, and we also have many walk-arounds and reviews on other cars, not just Minis, coming for, t for the next year. So please tune in, please subscribe to our channel, hit a thumbs up on this video, and comment below in your views of this car. But for us, we absolutely adore it, and we hope to keep it like this for as long as possible. So. Thank you for watching guys, catch you in the next one.